So um, I just happened to meet a friend who, who has a business in retail, jewellery retailing. And um, she said to me, would you like a job? And I said, not really, don't think so. And she said, just for Christmas? I said, well, I might. And she said, three days a week. So I said, oh, OK, then. <laughs> Went back to work, um, loved it, and I'm still there. I then, um, <clears throat> as I say, went um, for a routine mammogram in uh, March of last year. Didn't think anything about it. And um, a week later was called uh, back with a, some sort of problem. And I thought it would just be a technical problem on the film. Um, when I got there, I was told I would need to see a doctor straight away. and. Um, she said to me, do you know why you're here? And I said, well, I think there's a technical problem of some sort. And she said, well, can I just show you the film, which she did, pointed out this sort of area to me and said, do you know what this is? And I said, not really. Well, she said, we think there's a 95% chance that it will be um, cancer. So that was a massive shock, actually, because I hadn't even thought about that. I just naturally assumed it would be OK. Um, she then said, would I mind having the biopsies? And I, I had a biopsy from the breast and the underarm. Um, they couldn't find the lump, so we had to, I had to have an, an ultrasound scan and then it was located. And um, she said then uh, I would receive a letter in about a week's time telling me what the, the diagnosis was. And um, they were all, I mean, they were all very, very supportive and, and excellent at the hospital. It was very quick. Um, a week later, I did receive the letter and went back with a friend. And yes, it was um, cancer. And um, I was advised that I would need to go into hospital for a lumpectomy. And uh, auxiliary clearance, I think it was, which I um, said OK. By this time, I was sort of feeling that I would be strong about it. I wasn't too worried. Well, I was worried, but not sort of, I was thinking, yes, you'll get through this because I know people that have had breast cancer. But I went to see my GP because of my history of depression. And she knows me so well and she's been so supportive over the years. And she said to me, I think we ought to put you onto um, your antidepressants now, a low dose, just to sort of help you. And I agreed readily. Uh, so that's what we did. And um, then, of course, as, as this sort of whole thing started to roll, I went into hospital. That was fine. Had the op, which wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I was lucky, I was sort of like the first patient down there. Um, <clears throat> my brother and family were very supportive. My brother had said to me, right, I'm going to get you through this. You will be absolutely fine. Um, and I sort of believed in him and I thought, yeah, I am going to. And my daughters did as well, everybody did. But unfortunately, my body chemistry doesn't seem to work like that, what I think. I can't control how I actually feel and so gradually after the op I did start to, I knew I was going into a depression.